May the peace, blessings, and mercy of God be upon you. We often hear that this coma is for people have gone into a coma after having an accident. And usually heard that it can be preferable to a week, 10 days, or a month example or more. And then the person begins to regain consciousness again. But what do you think can happen? If someone entered a coma for decades, the question here remains, if for example, he entered this coma as a child and then recovered as a young man, would his thinking remain the thinking same a child? Not thinking same adult. Are these long coma cases really possible or not? Hello, I'm Mohamed Saleh. But before we start, if you are still new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell so that our videos will reach you first. The basic experiences of a person that he acquires in his life, or in order to be able to say that this person is a worker who matures intellectually, the person must be conscious and aware of the events that happen around him. This is a very logical thing, for example, in order to learn information, or to acquire something new, we must remain awake and see this need with our eyes and hear it with our ears. I mean, if someone is sleeping, and he is going into his deep sleep, as we say, we sat next to him, and told him the reaction of calcium chloride with silver nitrates, we have silver chloride and calcium nitrates, or did we say that your brother came back from travel today, or that your cousin gave birth to a baby today, is there any information from these that will enter his brain and apply to his experiences? The answer is definitely no. Is this exactly what happens to a person in a prolonged coma? A person who remains in a coma is supposed to be unaware of anything around him. This is because he does not interact with his external senses, as if in a deep sleep. But before we go into the details, for the sake of accuracy, let us clarify an important point. There is a difference between a coma and a vegetative state. If we hear that someone is in the hospital and is unconscious for three months, then in this case we say that he is in a coma. However, this description is inaccurate. Medical coma is a state of unconsciousness. This may be a few minutes or hours long. Like a diabetic coma, for example, may God protect us and you. Coma can last days or weeks. But if the coma lasts for months, then in this case it is no longer called a coma. Its name remains the vegetative state or the vegetative state. And there is a huge difference between the two. And we will talk about this topic in an episode titled how can someone who puts a person into a coma for many years still live without eating or drinking? Watch it after this episode. So, what can happen to the person's awareness if he enters a vegetative state? Or, hypothetically, he fell into a coma for a long time. There are basic things that remain common to people who enter a prolonged coma. As their bodies follow natural sleep patterns, and the automatic functions in their organs are working normally, such as breathing and blood circulation. But awareness itself was not understood to a great extent by doctors. It was most likely that the one who enters into a coma would remain completely separated from the world and not feel anything that was happening around him. But this thought changed completely with a strange study conducted by a research team from the University of Cambridge. A group of researchers from Cambridge in collaboration with Medical Research Council and the National Institute for Health Research, they did tests on 32 cases and these patients entered a long coma and the doctors said that they do not respond to external stimuli and their degree of awareness is completely non-existent. But researchers at the University of Cambridge did news and tests on these patients in order to ascertain whether this talk is really true or not. They started their experiment with an fMRI machine which measures brain activity. They also used an electroencephalogram or EEG. Although the patients had their eyes closed, it was evident that they were in deep stability. However, the researchers stood in front of them and spoke to them in a loud voice. And they told them we want you to imagine yourself playing tennis. Imagine yourself walking through the house where you grew up. And they kept repeating these phrases more than once. During the dialogue, there was no going on between them and the patients. The devices were working to record the activity taking place in the patient's brain. The amazing surprise is that the area responsible for planning in the brain was giving signals similar to those of normal people. The area of the promoter cortex, which is responsible for the sensory direction of the movements that we perform, was a labor of enlightenment for them. Therefore, the issue did not happen with all the patients, but it happened with not a few of them. But the result in general was completely shocking and completely changed our view of patients with a vegetative state or a prolonged coma. 
So, what we understand from the previous words is that in two cases now, they can happen to the person while he is in a coma. The first case is that if this person wakes up, the degree of his awareness will stop at the moment he entered the coma, because by default he was from the group that did not give any response to the stimuli that were happening around them. But the second case is that the person may have some kind of awareness, as if he keeps hearing some intuitions that happen around him. Thus, his consciousness is constantly increasing even when he is in a coma. On the other hand, it remained, so that we are not overly optimistic. There are other cases of prolonged coma, the people who go through it and their consciousness stops at the moment they entered the coma. This is the most likely possibility in cases of prolonged coma. A famous example of this is the story of the American his name is Dry Walls, who was hit by a car crash in the year 1984, when he was only 19 years old. At the time, he and one of his friends were riding in a truck, but the truck drifted off a bridge, and they were contagious to him. The height of the bridge was 7 meters, and this caused the immediate death of its owner. And he was a quadriplegic. After several months, he fell into a prolonged coma. At the time, his baby girl, Amber, was only born a few weeks ago. But Walls remained in a coma for 24 years. On June the 12th, 2003, his mother was in his room, she came to check on him as usual, but she was surprised that he was calling for her. No one was aware of what happened. And when the doctors examined him, they noticed that part of the brain damage was recovering automatically. However, it is interesting to note that when Wallace awoke from the coma, he still believed that he was in 1984. The time he worked, to the extent that when they brought his daughter, to him, he came to him after she grew up, and he was still 20 years old. He could not believe that she was his daughter. Although Terry is the one who preferred to live until the age of 57 years. However, he was consciously living the memories of a young man 20 years younger than his real age. What we understand from this statement is that there are two states of consciousness that can occur with a person if he enters a prolonged coma. The first case is that if this person regains consciousness, the degree of his consciousness will stop at the moment he entered the coma. Wall's case costume, for the second case, which is considered a rare case, it is that the person may have some kind of awareness and hear some of the events that are going around him. In this state, his consciousness is developing and constantly increasing while he is in a coma. Like the vegetative state patients that Cambridge University researchers did their experiments on, and we talked about them a while ago, in the end, and we talked about the subject of consciousness and awareness, there is a medical condition called shutdown syndrome, and this syndrome is semi-prolonged coma, or the vegetative state, the person is in it he loses the ability to move and communicate with those around him, and he is complete paralysis, but the difference is that he is conscious and aware of what is happening around him, even if those around him do not feel it. This is what happened with Martin Pasteria. Englishman, Martin Pistorius, when he was 12 years old, had a very strange disease. Doctors at the time suggested that it was meningococcal meningitis. This disease completely lost the ability to move, and with the passage of time he lost the ability to communicate with the eye. And also the ability to speak, and when the matter was prolonged, they asked his family to take him home and let him rest, and they told them that we did not expect that he would wake up or live for a long time. Indeed, his family took him home, but they did not lose hope. His father picked him up every day and put him to bed, setting the alarm every two hours to turn him on his side while he slept so that he would not get bed sores. Periodically, he was taken to the healthcare center and their lives were preserved for 12 full years. But what was surprising was that after all this period, the woman who was appointed new to the care center and who was responsible for Martin's condition when she was talking in front of him noticed that he was responding with his eyes to the things she said. She had the feeling that Martin understood what she was saying, and that he is interacting with what is happening inside him, as if he wants to express what is inside him, but he cannot. Indeed, it went to his father and mother. She advised them to transfer him from the care center and to take him to another place that specialized in his condition more. At first, again, he also got married in 2009 and had a child. However, the only symptom that was completed with Martin after the coma was that he had a speech problem and he could not move his leg normally, but his mental abilities were excellent and there were no problems. Until now, this is not the strange thing in the story. The strange thing is that he told about what was happening to him during the state of confinement he was in. Just two years after Martin fell into a coma, he began to outgrow and absorb everything around him. 
Unfortunately, he was unable to move or speak in order to express what was inside him. As if he was trapped inside his body. First, he began to deduce the time by the sunlight moving from the window of his room. And he was hearing everything and aware of the things that were happening around him. He even once heard his mother say, I wish my son would die so that he could rest. Martin also said that he knew the events that took place in the world through the conversations that were taking place between his family and some of them, such as that he knew, for example, the news of the death of Princess Diana and that he heard about Nelson Mandela and other events, but that he also told them that he hated the character of Barney very much, who used to appear in children's programs and that people in the care center would always sit him on a chair and occupy Barney in front of him for hours, and he would keep telling them that he did not like this cartoon. But unfortunately he could not say. All of these things and more are told by Martin in his book Ghost Boy, Go and what he explained was that he was fully conscious at a time when everyone around him believed that he was in a coma. That's it, we're done. Who got here? All those who arrived, you are the best people. Do like for us before you go out, so we know how many people made it to the end of the video. And don't forget, if there is a question that comes to you at night or during the day and confuses, you write it to us in the comments under the video so that we can answer it. Most of the episodes we are making now will be and we will take them from the comments. Goodbye.